Hello. I've got a nice cup of chicory here. I'm on my own this week, so I've been taking that opportunity to sort things out a bit at home, sort out all my stuff that just builds up. I decided to go through my material bag, what's a huge bag where I just shoved all the little pieces of material and unfinished projects and things like that because I'm not a great sewer really but I have grown to enjoy it over the years that I've been part of this little sewing group here in France and so actually I've got quite into it in my own little way and I thought a good chance to sort it all out and that made me think about projects and unfinished things and things like that and I thought yeah we all have stuff well I think a lot of us have things that we start and never finish and uh, I love starting, I love the new thing. And, um, and I think that's the, that's the problem sometimes, isn't it? We go off on the new idea, the new thing, and it's all very exciting. Um, and that even applies to small projects, things we might make ourselves. So I've gone through all my things and I've sorted out quite a lot of unfinished projects. So I thought I'll show you my unfinished projects and my aim is to finish them. Okay, so here we go. So. The first one is the most recent unfinished project and that was a video I did quite recently about how artificial intelligence can't do patchwork. So now I have several of these lovely hexagon paper piecing <laughs> flower shapes that I need to do something with. And the idea originally was to make them into cushion covers. So I'm going to stick with that, I think. I'm going to try and make cushion covers. I'm probably going to applique them on to some other material. I'll see how that goes. That's one project. This is a small project, which isn't finished. Um, this was something we did at the sewing group not long ago. And all I need to do with this is just stitch around just to quilt it. It's a little padded shape, very easy to do. And of course you can connect all those together and make something bigger. Um, we made some little boxes actually with them. We sort of got five of them and made them into a, like a little cube shape. So that's to finish. This one, I've got to finish this because we're going to do a little exhibition thing of our work. So this is Sashiko. And I like this actually, that's something I like. I don't always like the things I make, but I do like this one with the, the two um, birds there. I'm saying birds because I'm not sure what kind of birds they are. And that again was going to be a cushion cover or something. So I've got to finish that one off. Um, do you end up with rather a lot of cushion covers I find? Um, could sometimes do with other ideas of things to make. Um, other unfinished projects are things like this. Squares I've got cut out ready to make into something. So I'll do something with them. I've got lots of little bits of small nine patch things here, which I was going to, they were supposed to be part of a, of a big quilt. Um, there might be a little quilt now. I've used, I've gradually over the time, over the years, used these little nine patches that I put together to make all the smaller things. So I haven't ever made a huge quilt. So Maybe I'll do that. Maybe one day I will do that. The most recent, one of the recent videos I did about the AI and patchwork, I noticed that I got quite a few new subscribers and it was mainly people who were making things and doing quilting. So I did look at some of your videos and things and I thought they were amazing and actually got quite interested and made me think, oh gosh, these quilts are so beautiful. So maybe sometime I'm going to make a bigger quilt. What else have we got? Oh, this one's a bit more interesting. This was the first, the very first bit of patchwork I did when I joined the group in France and it's a big dahlia shape I'm sure you can see round rather liked that actually it's made from really random bits of material because um, I had no money <laughs> so I couldn't buy any material and I remember sort of starting this group and really scratching around for what what I had Occasionally I'd see something in um, a second-hand shop, so I'd get maybe a bit of a pillowcase or something like that. So it's made up of all sorts of things. And actually I knew nothing about patchwork and the material I used in the centre was really not suitable for it. It was quite thick, maybe you can't tell. Um, it was just a bit of something that I had um, and it was very clumsy to finish in the middle. So. My friend had a good idea of just sewing a little flower on there. That was just a bit of flower cut out from a piece of lace and that worked quite well. And uh, yeah, I think actually I like the idea things don't have to be perfect. As you know, I've made a video about things not being perfect. 
And that certainly carries through to um, making things and sewing as well. So that has got a bit, I've got as far as putting a little bit of um, the wadding stuff. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a sewer or anything because I don't even know the names of the things. Sometimes I know the names in French. But yeah, so got that. But I haven't got any backing on that yet. And I don't know what to make it into. I have no idea what to make. So if anyone has any ideas. Oh, a cushion. That All I can think of is a cushion again, a cushion. Um, and I'll show you, my friend Aisha made a beautiful footstool with hers and she's just moved back to England. So she's given me her footstool, which is, feels very, uh, very special, actually. So I'm going to just get the, pause the video. I'm going to get the footstool to show you. OK, so here we go. So this was Aisha's. Now, an amazing mixture of colours. And she always felt that she wasn't good with colour and she didn't like the materials that she'd chosen, but I always loved it. I think it's amazing. I don't see why you can't mix all sorts of different things together. And then she crocheted all the way around. And so, <laughs> so I use that as a footstool, which is great, but I really do not need two of those enormous footstools. So I'll do something else. Maybe I'll put it into the middle of a quilt or something like that. That was another idea I had, full of ideas, but um, doing it can be a different thing. So I just thought I'd share that with you um, because, well, <laughs> just to show you, yeah, I've got lots of unfinished stuff and I'm actually going to have a little go at uh, finishing a few things now. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So until next week, lots of love. Bye.